Hello guys, not racer, and this is gonna be just the MMGS V Block Roundup Summer 2018. So, so somebody knew what this is. It's basically short V Block compiled into one video here. Not really much to talk about, so that's what it is. So with that, let's just get started. And the first thing I want to give my thoughts on is finally people's sort of dream came true in Mozami. There is a fan film of Uncharted starting, okay, get ready for this, Nathan Fillion. So yeah, so I saw this yesterday, it was on YouTube, on my feed, and basically, I saw this video, a 15 minute video, basically, what would it look like a, move, a live action movie of Uncharted starting, well, guess what, Nathan Fillion. So, first of all, what do I think about the fan film? It's 15 minutes, so, but again, it is a fan film, so that means not a lot of, you know, uh, duha, you know, special effects or fancy mancy stuff. You know what I mean. That's what a fan film is. But the bottom line is, for what it is, it looks awesome. I give it like a 10 out of 10. If you have a chance, if I remember, the link's in the description box. You gotta watch it. It, it does have the elements of what Uncharted is. And the reason why this is sort of a big deal to some extent is that at one point, Sony did want to do a live action Uncharted. And people basically suggested, oh, you should do Nathan Fillion because he kind of fit the part. Well, he did fit the part. He kind of fit the part there in the fan film. But there was some rumbling about they wanted Mark Wahlberg to be the main character. You know, he did Max Payne and that didn't come out good. Uh, there were some other people they wanted, and there was even a report that the film will have a backstory, like a flashback. And the guy who played Spider-Man in Homecoming and in Infinity War, Tom Holland, I think that's his name, they wanted him to be also a young Drake, like the young Drake. But again, there's not information about the real one, but there were some problems, direct, uh, director's problem, people want to direct this, some people didn't want it. There was a lot of who do that. You can probably Google the story. But yeah, so finally, Nathan Fillion kind of portrayed Nathan Drake in this fan film, and it worked. So would it be nice to see an actual movie about this? Well, yeah, but we'll just have to wait and see if Sony Pictures would actually willing to do it. So the next one I want to give my thoughts on, a very quick one, is the controversy for E-League. Yes, that is FGC related, but this is a little bit of interesting, even if you're not. So basically what happened was, and if you don't know what the E-League is, I'm sort of from TBS, a fighting tournament, sometimes it would be any, well, not just fighting, but the one I'm interested in was Street Fighter V tournament. And basically what happened was, in Grand Finals, there was Tokido versus Smug, and then Smug was able to reset the bracket, but in the end, according to the producers, they, had a, they decided to take a break after that. And when they came back, somehow, just it didn't go what it's supposed to, or they were seeing that, well, Smug was on the roll, suddenly so now he lost his momentum, and Tokido sort of had an advantage or something. I mean, just a lot of controversy was coming out, and people were saying that that break probably kind of ruined Smug's momentum. And that part I can understand, but my thoughts about it really, and I hate to say it, it's TBS. Uh, they're owned by Time Warner, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers is a public company, and chances are about E-League. Maybe there are passionate FGC who's working in E-League, but to some extent, it's a business, and they gotta make money. It's all about making money. Yeah, it's, it sucks. It's one of those profit versus passion situation, but again, was it right for E-League to do that? In my opinion, probably not, but at the same time, they were think, all they were thinking was, Hey, you know, ratings and got to make money. Got to put those ads to make more money. That's all I can say. Yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. So the next one I want to give my thoughts on, probably going to be a quick one, is Thundercat Roar. So if you don't know what this is, it's based on a famous 80s cartoon. A lot of fans, especially older fans, are a fan of the Thundercats. And they're doing another version in 2019, excuse me, but in the style of OK KO, and I'm gonna assume way of the big they show the trailer, it's gonna be comedic like in Titan Go. So what my what's my thoughts about it? 
well, in the beginning, well, the starters, I'm not really much of a Thundercats fan, so it doesn't really matter. But I can say that Thundercat War is not for me, because they're doing the style, they're going the direction of Steam Titan Go, which is not for me. Not really funny, I, I don't kids likes it. But I can understand why they went there, because after the original Thundercat in the 80s were done, they did try to do a serious reboot, anime inspired style, because it was made, I think, the production in Japan. A lot of American elements in it, Thundercat. Unfortunately, I may like it, I like the design. I can agree with a lot of people that said, Ian, Pixel Dan, people who were fans of Thundercat, people who analyzed Thundercat. The question is, where were you when the reboot Thundercat was on? The re and again, it's uh, whether you like it or not, that's the facts of what happened to Thundercat, that particular reboot Thundercat. They went out of business or they got canceled because poor sales of the toy and the low rating. You say, wait, I was watching it. Again, the, the numbers are there, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I, be, I, I watched it every single episode, but again, the question is, like what Ian said, where were you when the reboot Thundercat? So that's why they had to go to this approach. I mean, yeah, it kind of sucky. I mean, same goes with Teen Titan Go. It got more popular with the kids, but the other one, I guess it got stale and the ratings were just going down. I mean, it is what it is. So the last part of this V-Block Roundup Summer Edition 2018 is they showed a picture, a preview picture of the new Shira coming exclusive on Netflix from DreamWorks. So it is a different design from its original 1980s. I mean, no surprise there. Come on, it's a reboot Shira. And what it is is that she looks more quote unquote cartoony, which is, of course is a cartoon. More, but it's more cartoony than the 80s version. And there were some people who don't like it, of course, you know, common thing, just like Thundercat Roar, which is, if you know the story, been, uh, the reason I didn't talk about it, because it's kind of been talked about all the time, let's just say that. My, the, my opinion just of that is, it's just not for me. Business reason, kind of like what Pixel Dan said, I agree with him and Ian. So, in the case with Shira, it's the same deal to some extent. Some of the Uber fan, the, the hardcore fan of Shira, don't know, like the design. It looks kind of, she doesn't look so feminine. She doesn't feel like a Shira. And then, of course, you got the other side that I hate to say. The okay, you know, I, the people think they're always right. I'm gonna say I don't want to say the actual who they are, but you kind of get what I'm going there. Who these people are? They were happy. They said good. They're not. She's basically just a normal looking person, not so overly attractive. Again, I'm just trying to use nice word here. So for me personally, what's my opinion about it? Well, I don't mind the design because it's something new. It's a reboot. It's a 2018. It's from the modern time. It's supposed to be meant for the new fans are trying to get into. But if you want the old one, there are all Shira. You can watch it on Con TV. I don't know if you can buy the DVDs. Maybe if you get lucky. But the show's not going to start until November, so I say to that is, I'm going to have to wait and see until November and see an animated version. A still picture doesn't really give enough information. In the case with Thundercat Roar, yeah, they had a preview video. It, it showed, it gave everything to what the premise is going to be and how it's going to go. Again, it's like a Teen Titan go. But this one's just a still picture, kind of hard, so I need more time. Maybe in November I'll give my opinion about it. So with that, those are my summer V-Block there. So with that, thanks for listening.